Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sharwin and I make cooking videos and K-drama review videos. And this week I'm going back into the world of K-dramas to review the 2019 hit Hotel Del Luna. So I've got my notes here. Let's get started. Number one, the plot. So Hotel Del Luna is actually a supernatural hotel where souls who have died can rest until they're ready to go into the afterlife. So this hotel is being run by a 1,300-year-old soul whose bitter and violent past is slowly revealed as we watch um, the show. Um, she also seeks help from a human hotelier to help run things in the hotel, you know, cut costs, make more money to support her lavish lifestyle. And in the end, he also helps in dealing with the different souls and their problems. Number two, what do I love about this K-drama? You know, something that I didn't expect because, you know, this K-drama is, is you know, um, supernatural. It deals with the ghosts and the afterlife. I really didn't expect that the main theme of this K-drama is free will or choice. Um, every time um, a character has to to deal with this unfair circumstance or they have to deal with an enemy or someone they have a grudge against. I really appreciate the fact that the drama shows us that there's always a better way of dealing with these people. You don't have to deal with them in a harsh way. Oftentimes, uh, you get better results by being kind, being understanding. Um, and just simply by being a kind and understanding person, you can see that you can actually change other people to be like you, and uh, I really love that message. Number three, let's talk about IU, who plays Jiang Manwal, the 1,300-year-old owner of the hotel. Can we just settle this now? Is there anything that IU doesn't look good in? I mean, like in this drama, she probably wears like a hundred different outfits, right? And she looks good in each and every one of those dresses and costumes. That is... That is just crazy. Plus, as usual, you know, top-notch acting from IU. Um, you know, she really makes you feel things. Uh, she makes you feel how the character feels. Um, she's funny as the owner who loves money, who loves champagne and expensive things. Yet at the same time, you feel sad for her when, when she's hurt. Um, you feel angry for her when she's being abused. Um, you know... She has this thing with her eyes where she starts crying, but the tears don't actually fall out of her eyes, right? And whenever she does that, you, you just have this feeling that you immediately want to come there and protect her. Uh, I don't know how she does it. Uh, number four, let's talk about Yo Jin Gu, who plays uh, Ku Chan Song, you know, the human hotelier. Um, he plays the good guy really, really well. Um, there's a certain innocence and earnestness about him that makes you believe that he really just wants to help, you know? Um, I think his character is the soul of the entire drama because of the fact that, you know, he remains good, that he wants to do good, um, that he never wants to double deal or do something untruthful. It ends up changing the entire uh, drama, you know, everyone uh, changes for the better because of him. I also love the fact that um, his his character shows us that kindness is really the way to go. Like, don't believe how, you know, people say that sometimes you have to do uh, what needs to be done, which means that you have to do something evil. No, um, his character, Ko Chan Song, shows us that in any situation, kindness is the way to go. Number five, food. You know, there's so much great food in this drama because, of course, uh, Manuel uh, loves to follow in the footsteps of her favorite food show host. So she gets to try different restaurants. I think the dish that really interested me was the rice cake soup. I think they call it the tokguk. Tokguk. I hope I pronounced that properly. Um, I, I like the version that they showed in this restaurant because the rice cakes seem to be shaped differently, like they're little lamps or little beads. I can imagine the texture of that, you know. It's almost like boba, but in a savory soup. 
Um, and I can already imagine the soup is probably, you know, it has these deep flavors because they probably use like beef brisket and beef bones to create that soup. Uh, where can I get that here in the Philippines? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, number six, fun. So this is probably the first K-drama that I've seen with an after credits uh, sequence, just like Marvel. So I won't spoil it for those who haven't watched it, but if you go watch um, the end of episode 16, just stay for the credits, and then you're going to see a cameo um, showing a new hotel with a new owner, right? I think it's called the Hotel Blue Moon, and the new owner is... uh, you know, one of the biggest K-drama stars in Korea. So I was really surprised that he agreed to do this. Mm. Number seven, Verdict. Uh, this is a great K-drama. It's filled with a lot of um, action and supernatural developments. But also at the same time, it's really witty, really, really funny. And I love that. I love the smart comedy. Um, the chemistry between the two main leads is, is, is fantastic. So even the romantic parts, you know, can be enjoyable even for us straight guys, you know. It's not too dragging. It's not too melodramatic. It's something that we'll enjoy. Number eight, rating. So I'm going to rate this as for advanced viewers. Um, You know, while this K-drama is very enjoyable, it's also a little formulaic. Um, as a romantic K-drama. So I think it's better if someone sees, you know, three or four of the uh, beginner level K-dramas before they dive deep into this one. All right, that's my review of the K-drama Hotel Del Luna. If you enjoy this K-drama review, please make sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm really, really close. I'm getting there. So any help will be greatly appreciated. Um, In the meantime, you can comment down below if there's a K-drama favorite of yours that you would like me to review. Um, Or maybe there's a cooking video you'd like me to make. Just let me know and I'll be happy to respond. In the meantime, my book, The Gospel of Food, is available on all online shopping platforms, Shopee, Lazada, and AnvilPublishing.com. And if you're not in the Philippines, you can order this as an e-book on Amazon, Nook, and Scribe. Okay, that's all for me today. So in the meantime, you can watch my other videos right now.